Guy Lewis uh, to talk about this now. Guy, uh, was this pretty much what you were expecting? Kind of a split decision, um, but it goes back to the lower courts now. I, th I think so, Ashley, although I got to lean toward uh, President Trump in terms of how big this is. I mean, make no mistake, yeah. Ashley, this is a blockbuster decision. It is as big as Bush v. Gore, in, in my opinion. What it does mm. is it sends it back to the lower courts and says, basically, look, we lean toward, uh, we, we uh, approve of a presumption of immunity if indeed the president is committing official acts. Now the question, the devil's in the detail, right? What is yeah. an official act? Uh, and so I think it's gonna uh, 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 confound some of the lower courts in some respect. It's gonna create litigation. It's gonna solve a couple of these cases, I think, very quickly. The DC January 6th case against Trump. And frankly, yeah. I think the um, the classified document case is is uh, breathing its last breath as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, all of these cases now are not going to come to light or, or play out before the election, are they? That's exactly right. And that's what uh, President Trump and his legal team, uh, what they want desperately now is time. Time to get him in the yeah. office, time to make changes in the Department of Justice, time to sort of reset the clock here. And then once he's in, look, the law is clear on that. You can't prosecute the president once he's in. So there'll be another at least four years uh, where the matter will sit on the shelf. And as a prosecutor, when I was doing it, listen, I never <laughs> did like to draw these things out. We wanted to hit quickly. We wanted to hit hard. And this, uh, I think, gives President uh, Trump and his legal team the clear, decisive advantage. You know, Guy, if, if Donald Trump wins the election, can he essentially pardon himself or direct the Department of Justice to drop the cases? So, so actually, I think that's a great question. <laughs> in, in short, I think the answer to your profound question is yes. I do think he can pardon himself. There's no limitation in the Constitution. Look, if you care about and mm. love the text of the Constitution, then uh, you look at it and, and you say, okay, is there a limit on what I can do in terms of pardoning myself? And I think he can pardon himself um, on uh, federal criminal matters. Maybe a different thing on state matters, Ashley. But again, yeah. we go back to the question is, is it official? Was he calling the, the, the people down in Georgia to say, look, I care about election integrity and I want this matter investigated right. and looked at? Or was he trying to commit a crime? I think it's the former, Ashley, and not the latter. It's fascinating stuff. Uh, Guy Lewis, you're always so on point. Thank you so much, sir, for, for joining us this morning with your expertise. We appreciate that.